Today was the first day of classes for many universities across the country and, of course, here at home. Fairmont State Falcons returned to campus. Emily McNamara is on campus right now, in fact. And, uh, well, she's getting ready for the maroon and white to see what's going on there. Good evening, Em. Hey, Don, that is right. Fairmont finally has some life back in it within the Falcon community after many long months of a quiet, empty campus. These students are officially back and in class. The campus, of course, looks different with things like hand sanitizing stations, signs marking which way traffic should move through buildings, and, of course, masks being required anywhere on campus. Every student was also required to be tested for the virus upon their arrival on campus. And President Myrta Martin says after today, they have almost tested the entire student population along with the, every staff and faculty member. Martin expressed to me her excitement to see so many familiar faces once again. And despite the various changes caused by the coronavirus outbreak, she is so pleased with the team effort and hard work from everyone at the university and across the county that they put forth to make their campus as safe as possible for their students. I credit the faculty and the staff for being able to turn on a dime. You know, in March, we put over 390 courses uh, to be digitally delivered in a span of a week. Uh, the faculty throughout the summer have learned how to do online classes, and we've implemented in every single one of our classrooms. We have installed webcams, so we are committed to ensuring that our students not just come to Fairmont State, but more importantly, that they graduate from Fairmont State. Coming up at 6, I will talk to a student about how her overall move-in process went and what she is looking forward to going into this next school year. For now, reporting in Fairmont for 12 News, I'm Emily McNamara.